you know, well, my father was a shearer and I first got started um, shearing by sort of following him around when I was um, had a bit of time off of school and, and uh, yeah, sort of picking up the handpiece a little bit. And uh, yeah, then I went up the way up the um, bush rouse or wool handling for 12 months and sort of pretty keen to get on the end of the hand, end of the down tube and pick up the handpiece and sort of smogos and lunchtimes do one or two. And then yeah, sort of after 12 months of that, I thought I'll give it a go and uh, got to learn my first learner's pen. When I first got my training, like um, got into the, the training, uh, was after about two years I'd been shearing and I was sort of up around 150 a day and uh, went and seen John Hutchinson um, and uh, he was running schools in the mid-north up there so I sort of joined up about then. Yeah, I, I learned a fair bit, fair bit when I was in the school, sort of. Um, most of the time out in the sheds you, you learn to pick up a little bit but no one was really there, one was trying to make a dollar and um, uh, when I first went to the to the shearing schools, well, they'd done a little bit of uh, hands-on with the videos and stuff like that, and your sort of footwork and, and all that started to make, like you realise how big a role it plays. In the shearing competition, I'm up to about, I think about 115 open shows now, and um, within that there's a, you know, I won the, like the 2000 World Champs, was probably a, a highlight and um, a few things spun off of that, like I got to share in front of um, John Howard up at the Choggum Conference um, in 2001 I think it was, and um, yeah, so there was a, yeah, a fair bit of enjoyment out of it. The uh, keys to good quality shearing are uh, I think hand-eye coordination is a big thing, like um, and uh, efficiency of blows. Like, um, there's a, they reckon is the quickest way around the sheep's on the skin. So, like efficiency is number one, and then um, all the other parts come to play in, in, into it as well as footwork and um, it's probably your left hand is probably one of the biggest things in shearing merinos anyhow, because uh, as you know, there's a lot of um, uh, wrinkles on them, and if, if you don't get them out the way, well they go through the comb. <laughs>